Hello friends, if you are a new blogger or an experienced blogger, you might have heard about CDN or you might be using CDN. What is CDN? CDN is Content Delivery Network. What it does that it gets all the files from your website to that server and serve from different location. For example, my website is hosted in US server. Now someone is using or someone accessing my website from UK or from India. So what happens that that file need to be transferred from US to UK, then again from US to India. Uh, so it takes a lot of time and usually in this kind of scenario, the websites are really slow. If someone is visiting website from some other country, what CDN does that they have different servers. So they will copy the website content from your US server and they will save it in the UK server, the India server. So whenever someone visiting your website from India, they will start the content from India server. They won't come to US server. So usually if you use a CDN, your server speed, your website speed will be much faster. In, so Cloudflare is a very good uh, website or very good company which gives the CDN service for free. So I believe like many of you are using the CDN, the Cloudflare CDN for your website but many of us doesn't know what is the best settings for Cloudflare. So in this video I'm going to show you what is the best settings that you should apply to get the best uh, speed from your website. Okay. First of all, let me show you how to add a website in Cloudflare. This is useful for beginners if they don't know how to use Cloudflare, how to connect their website with Cloudflare. For that, let me go to cloudflare.com. You can go for sign up. I'm going to use an email ID here so let me select the password and create an account so it has a requirement so let me create an account all right so once you create an account it is going to ask you for your website address so i'm going to give my staging website which is randy.website and i'm going to click on add So after some time you'll get the option you want to go for a pro plan or you want to try free plan so most of us use a free plan so let me choose for the free plan. Alright so after that you'll get a lot of options so I'm going to show you how to set all those options and what are the best settings that you should apply okay so it is saying that cloudflare has detected 32 dns record which is in my host in my um, domain company which is namecheap so i have to change all those settings okay so let me take you to my other website where i did all the settings so that i can show you before that let me click on continue so once you click on continue then you will get to name server which is Cloudflare name server right now my uh, domain has a name server as dns.namechiphosting.com so i have to go to my namechip account and i have to change it to 
these two name server once you do that you have to wait for about five to ten minutes and after that your website will be loaded to cloudflare okay so i'm not going to show you how to add name server in your domain account because it uh, varies from uh, account to account like, like if you're buying from godaddy then it will be different if you're buying from namecheap it will be different so it doesn't make any sense to show that right how to uh, change the name server for this you have to check with your domain company okay now let me take you to my one of the website where i already set all the setting and i'm going to show you what are the best settings okay so let me go to So I think I'm getting the wrong email address. All right, so we are in. So once you add the name server to your Namecheap or GoDaddy or Rizalus Club, Big, Big Rock, after some time, if you log into your Cloudflare, you will see this screen, and this will show what the website is added to your account for me in this account i have only one if you want to add more account you can go to add a site and you can keep on adding accounts to your same account all right now to change the settings for your website you have to click here and that will give a, a lot of options which you can change as per your requirement so this is the default page which will show the number of visitors number of requests number of data served and all the information it's more or less looks like a google analytics now coming to analytics the same kind of information like how google shows but obviously it's not exactly like google but it will give so many information okay It will show about threads, if there are any threads for your website, then how, about the performance, how fast it is, how slow it is. So there are so many options. All right. So the main thing is that uh, the DNS here you have to add all the ips that your website has so you know like i have for my website i have to add a record i have to add a email records if you want to access your emails so this is you know all the default settings that you have to add and if you're using a cloudflare you might be having all the information about the ip that this ip you will get from your domain company either it's a godaddy or a big rock you ask them for the ip they'll get the ip so that ip you have to enter here okay and this name server you have to enter in the domain company uh, domain registers so this is about the dns now coming to ssl you have to go for full always If you have a SSL in your web server, you have to go for full. Otherwise, you have to go for flexible. If you don't have SSL in your web server, generally nowadays all host provides uh, free uh, SSL, which is Let's SSL. So obviously, I would say like go for full. Coming to the firewall. So as of now, I did not add any firewalls, but if you add, want to add, you can add that. Coming to access, 
again uh, we are not sure about these options because we are not using this option so you know just keep it as it is the main thing is the speed you know in the speed options there are so many things so for the first time it will uh, check your refresh speed it might take about two to three seconds to load meanwhile i can go to optimization meanwhile i can go to optimization and let me configure a couple of options this is very important auto minify make sure you check all the options this will speed up your site okay make sure you select for broadly which will again increase your website speed there are many options which are available only for the pro version which is paid again rocket loader should be on railgun is a very uh, good options that will speed up your website if it's dynamic content but again it's a uh, premium options these options if you select if you use the amp pl amp plugin i have made one video how to make amp um, pages so if you want to see you can see the video i will keep the link in the descriptions mobile redirect if you have a different uh, subdomain where you have the mobile website you can click it here otherwise keep uh, keep it as it is going to browser insights you know how fast uh, your website load different browser that is over here now let me go to our view still checking my website for the speed so it will give and clear picture like I uh, know how much time it takes to load so it's saying 1.3 seconds it is taking to load so which is about 40% faster okay anything beyond 3 second is good so 1.3 second is good so I'm using couple of cache plugins and now I'm using this uh, cloud flare so obviously speed will be good coming to caching make sure for the caching level go for standard the cache expiration i will go for one month if you go for one month your website speed will be more make sure you click on always online don't go for development mode so that's all in the cache the workers it's a different concept so let let me not go to that options because for a beginner that is not required okay again page roles i have set one what i say that this blog should always use https so this is one role that i've added if you want this kind of role you can add more roles for the free for the free version you can add up to three so i did one i have two left so again for a beginner this option is not required coming to network always you should use http2 if your browser has http2 enabled then this will be grayed out okay if your browser doesn't have then this option will be enabled okay so this is very important because http2 will improve your site performance like anything if you want to try http3 you can click it yes and other options you can just leave it as it is if you want to improve or increase the upload size by default it is 100 mb what that means that you can upload plugins you can upload themes of up to 100 mb size if you have some big um, plugins or themes which is more than 100 mb then you have to increase the size but those options are available only in the premium versions okay coming to traffic just keep it as it is and there are some other options like you can use some app 
so what app does like if you want to add some banner in a website you can go for some apps like this kind of things if you want to show in a website I mean those are not required if you're a beginner and if you use any of the apps in your website from Cloudflare it is going to slow your website so I'll prefer not to use the app options so guys here is a broad overview of the Cloudflare we have the analytics with the DNS and SSL firewall speed caching so mainly we have a couple of options that you should check one is DNS one is the SSL, one is the speed and the caching. Apart from these four, I don't feel for beginner, they should look into other options, okay? So whatever settings I said, if you follow all the settings, I hope that your web speed will be improved a lot, okay? If you have any questions, any query, any doubt, please write in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer you. I hope you got some broad idea about Cloudflare, okay? Thanks for watching.